So Dickie, you took uh, you took a bunch of months off this year, and uh, you're looking pretty healthy for it. What have you been up to? Well, I've been watching a lot of TV, and uh, been doing a lot of fishing. Um, and uh, I I quit fishing because I wasn't catching any fish. And uh, one of my friends told me that I got to put bait. You know, you just that you can't catch fish with just the hook. So now I'm gonna start using bait. I've been eating a lot of ice cream and uh, listening to uh, listening to a lot of music and uh, I don't know. I've been pretty bored, really. <laughs> <laughs> been playing some golf. I've been. I've been trying to get my golf game back together. Yeah, I've been working. I've probably been working on that pretty hard. I was joking around about the fish. I, you know, I'm trying to be funny, but the golfing thing I've really been uh, working hard at. And boy, does it come slow. I mean, it comes slow. Um, you know, but it, it's it's coming along. The thing about golf is you have to work so damned hard. To get good, by the time you get good, you're sick of it. <laughs> it's like you're going to work. You know, yeah, going to the golf course, put in some hours. You know. <laughs> How about music? Have you been you've been playing guitar at all at home, or writing, or doing anything like that? Well, not not a hell of a hell of a lot because I was really trying to really take some time off. You know, and so I uh, really have have been trying to avoid getting out of jam sessions and doing that just because I wanted to really try and take some time off. So, but now I'm starting to uh, feel kind of empty and kind of want to start writing. You know, even if nobody wants to hear it. You know, it's kind of good to write and just get it out of your, out of your system. So, I know I'm gonna write something. And uh, you know, I'm at the point that I just need back a few months back when I said I was gonna take some time off. I just got to the point that I wanted to do. I felt the need to do something different, and nothing different was happening. So I just decided to make something happen by just not doing anything. If you don't do anything, something is bound to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of the idea. I just kind of give something a chance to happen by just laying back and, and uh, ducking out of things for a while. You know, um, I don't know why I chose this particular time to do it because, you know, all of our people out there have been responding beautifully. Every, you know, we're getting a lot of people to come enjoy the band. And uh, I mean, it, it, I didn't back off because uh, the shows were, were were faltering in any way. Because I mean, the people haven't haven't they haven't like let us down at all. I mean, they've been supporting us. You know, right along. So, anyway, something's gonna happen. I, I, you know, but I gotta give it. I gotta give it room. You know, I gotta give it room to happen. It's. I mean, music is what I do. So, you know, I'm just hoping that I'll get so fucking bored <laughs> that I'll sit down and and put something uh, thoughtful together. Uh, I hate to to write where you can hear the c contrived part of it. You know, if I'm trying to write, you can hear that I'm trying to write, and that's I don't like. I won't. I won't write like that. If if I if I'm 
if it's just kind of coming out like in, uh, you know, like and I'm enjoying, man, this is, yeah, just keep writing this. This is good. I've been wanting to say this for a long time. That's when I know I'm writing some writing. And if, if I can't get to that point, then shit, ain't no use to writing anyway. I mean, if you can't, if I can't write something that, that, that's, uh, if I can't write something that, that really means something to me and I can live with, you know, it ain't worth, it ain't worth screwing with, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing, Dave. <laughs> well, you know, you've written so many amazing instrumentals. Uh, when you put something like that down, what's your thought process on that? Because uh, obviously, they're so melodic, you can almost hear words to them, like on, you know, Jessica and things like that. Is it easier to write a song without lyrics, or is it just as hard to write a song without lyrics? Well, I don't know, you know, I don't... I can answer that, but it's easy to answer things when you compare what you, what you did or what you're doing with something else. You know, it's easier to explain yourself that way. But I don't, I don't know any rock and roll writers that write instrumentals. I mean, maybe something comes along. Like with Paul McCartney, so what was it, Frankenstein or something? Yeah, yeah. You know, but those to Paul McCartney, that's kind of a, that's kind of an anomaly. It's kind of almost like a, that's not what he does. Right. You know? But, um, I, you know, I mean, you can't compare like Elizabeth reading that stuff with the jazz players because they're they're really coming from a whole other place and than me, my writing. Um, I can tell you this, writing instrumental, it's even hard to explain the process because it's so fucking uh, uh, intangible to begin with. So difficult. I mean, uh, I mean, you might think I'm making a joke, but my instrumentals are very carefully named. I mean, I really put hours into naming, titling my instrumentals because that's the only hint of what you were trying to get across is the title. Yeah. And... Uh, but writing an instrumental that is effective and connects and works and uh, people get is really, really difficult. Really difficult. When you look back at, at your career as a writer and a guitar player, what, what are the things that stick out for you that you say, you know what, that, I'm really, really proud of that? I don't know how to answer that because, you know, um, you know, as as uh, the way things fell together, you know, it, we didn't plan it, but getting together with Barry Oakley and Dwayne Allman and those guys, all the guys. Uh, that's my whole life. I mean, that is the, you know, I probably, I don't know. I can't say that I wouldn't have been effective in some other way. But it didn't happen that way. But man, that's everything I have done and will do or or, or did at the time. It's all uh, done as kind of a um, orbiting around that Almond um, Brothers band, uh, you know, hard. So, I mean, so everything goes back to, hey, you know, I, I wound up being in the middle of, of this great band. 
So that's the most exciting thing that ever happened in my life is being part of that band. And then all the music is related to, to of course, the performers and the way we played and, and, and that. Uh, if the Allman Brothers Band hadn't happened, I like to think, well, I would have been able to find some way to try and re I would have reached, uh, you know, the uh, the fans. I would have reached the people somehow, because I think my music is good enough that it would have found a way to get recognized. You know, no matter what. Yeah, in yeah. some some manner, you know, it would, you know, but. Uh, a great song is a great song is a great song. Yeah, well, what I'm kind of saying is, uh, those great songs might not have uh, been, you know, come forth if I hadn't been around such great energy that was in the Almond Brothers band. So um, that's what I'm trying to say. It, you know, what a, what a lucky guy, you know, to wind up in the middle of that, you know. Yeah, but and, conversely, that might not have happened if it was if you weren't in that band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. So Dwayne is, uh, your son Dwayne has really taken to uh, songwriting lately. Would it, are you uh, peeking over his shoulder at all? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, just peeking over his shoulder because... I don't want to. I don't want to get in and change, change. You know how he might be going about it. Really, I don't want to influence him because he's it, this shit he's doing is so, so cool. And uh, you know, I'm I'm really getting a kick out of him, and I'm praying that somehow he'll get a chance to be uh, effective. You know, I think I think. I think it's going to happen. Something's going to happen. He's writing some beautiful lyrics. And his fucking ideas about how to do a track, how to, you know, the architecture of it. You know, I, I love what he's doing. You ever, uh, you ever take a look at your website? You ever spend any time on your website? No, I'm not really a, a, a computer guy, you know. Um, I want to get some porn on there on my website. But everybody says that's not a good idea. <laughs> you know, page four, porn, man. 